Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Tiller. Welcome back to another Service Management Leadership video. We thank you for joining us on this video and ask that you look around at some of our other videos. Leave feedback, comments, emails. We would enjoy hearing from you, even if you disagree with us. So today's topic has to do with your priority matrix. What's interesting is I've seen many companies, many organizations who do not have this defined. And I want to help you with it because it's very easy and it'll help drive a lot of organization within your, your group, your organization, your company, your government agency, whatever it be. So here it goes. Think of a matrix that's four by four. Four across the top, four across the, uh, the vertical. And this is your priority. So you have urgency on one, with one being the highest on one axis and four being the, the least urgent. And on the other axis, you have your impact, with one being it's extensive, it's widespread, it's enterprise-wide, it's bad news. And that four being minor and localized. So when you put these in a, in a grid form, it'll have your top left corner as, all one, as a one, and your bottom right corner as a four. And most organizations negotiate out where the twos and the threes are. And why this is important is, is one thing, and it's very key. It drives your SLAs along with your incident and service requests. If you have a P1 incident, you handle that differently than a P4. Same with service requests, especially with SLAs. SLAs add the layer of, it must be done in this specific time frame to meet the SLA. So a P4, urgency and impact, P4 service request may be two weeks, where P1 may be an hour. And so you want to use this for your organization to drive those behaviors. Prioritize what is prioritized, needs to be prioritized. That's why we call it the priority matrix, right? Lastly, this can be used for your change management. And this is the part that's interesting to me just because it's off the beaten path. You can use the urgency piece of this along with your priority, along with your impact, and make the priority to drive how do normal changes, do they need to be expedited or emergency changes? Do we raise them in the urgency because they can't wait for the next change window? They have to go in now. And so this priority matrix is important because it's the same one for all of your processes because you have to have that common understanding. And it drives so many behaviors, whether bound by an SLA or not. This is Jeffrey T. Tiller. Thank you for joining us today on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. We ask that you look around, possibly subscribe to our channel, like or share this video. Leave us comments below. We've really enjoyed the comments we've received and we uh, ask that you leave some feedback. Have a great, great day. Bye.